Roseanne is a TV series that started in 1988 and quickly became known for its honest and humorous look at a working class family in the fictional town of Lanford, Illinois. The show centers around Roseanne Connor and her family as they navigate life's challenges with laughter and love. It's a show that doesn't shy away from the tough stuff, but it's also filled with moments that will make you laugh out loud. As we dive into the world of the Connors, you'll find there are many surprising, funny, and touching stories to discover. For example, one memorable scene is when Roseanne and Dan, her husband, find out their daughter Darlene has been writing poetry. It's a moment that's both funny and moving, showing the depth of their family bonds. And did you know that the famous couch in the Connors' living room was chosen because it looked like something you'd find in a typical American home? It's these small details that make the show so relatable. Now we're curious about your connection to Roseanne. What's your most memorable moment or personal experience related to the show? Your stories and memories are important to us, and we'd love to hear them in the comments below. Keep watching for more surprising facts and heartfelt moments from Roseanne. And he really needs to hear that, okay? Imagine a family that's just like yours or your neighbors, but with a twist of humor that turns everyday life into an adventure. That's the essence of Roseanne, a show that started in 1988 and quickly became a favorite for its honest portrayal of middle-class life. Set in the fictional town of Lanford, Illinois, it follows the Connors, a family dealing with the ups and downs of life in a way that viewers found both relatable and entertaining. The show stood out for its focus on real issues like work, money, and family without losing the warmth and love that binds a family together. It was a breath of fresh air on television, showing that families come in all shapes and sizes and laughter can be found in the most ordinary places. And Roseanne, oh, mm, ooh, your derriere is badly in need of a reshaping. The show's viewership has seen a significant drop, about a quarter less since the departure of its leading lady. Her exit followed a controversy that has seemingly left a permanent mark on her career, with close associates doubting her recovery. Despite the turmoil, support from co-stars has been evident, with heartfelt defenses highlighting personal knowledge against the accusations she faces. Emotions ran high as this support was acknowledged, reflecting deep bonds formed over years of working together. Now, if he has an ass... <laughs> In a turbulent turn of events, a well-known actress faced immense backlash following a series of controversial tweets. The situation escalated when she expressed her fear for her life in a tweet, asking for prayers. Amidst the turmoil, a prominent television host stood by her, acknowledging their friendship but not condoning her actions. He highlighted the severity of her tweets, which were laden with racism and conspiracy theories. He also revealed her struggles with mental health including multiple personalities, one of which harbored racist views. Meanwhile, in the show's eighth season, a casting shuffle occurred when the original actress returned to her role, only to share it with her successor. This arrangement continued until the original actress's departure, after which her successor resumed the role full-time. You come near me, I'll break her wrist. Dad! I think she means it, Roseanne. <laughs> In a surprising turn of events, the lead actress's dissatisfaction with the original title led to a change. The same actress later disclosed that her character would meet an untimely end due to an opioid overdose in the spinoff series. The revelation was met with disappointment, as she felt it did not honor the legacy of the family portrayed in the original show. Meanwhile, the spinoff is set to be broadcasted in Canada, taking over the primetime slot on Tuesday evenings. The new series, which features the return of familiar faces, comes after the original show's reruns were pulled from television following controversial remarks by the actress. The spin-off has been given a direct order for 10 episodes, signaling a strong commitment to its future success. Yeah, being your own boss isn't that great of a deal. Last week I sexually... In the search for the perfect cast, Macaulay Culkin was considered for the role of DJ Connor, but ultimately Michael Fishman was chosen, reflecting a closer resemblance to the family dynamic envisioned by Roseanne Barr. The show saw a unique situation with the roles of DJ and Becky being played by different actors over its run. Off screen, the series sparked conversations and controversies, notably with Kenya Barris openly criticizing Roseanne Barr and expressing his discontent, leading to his departure from ABC. 
This tension highlighted the show's significant influence on television and its adjacent programs. In a notable recognition of his role, John Goodman, portraying Dan Connor, secured the 13th spot in the 50 Greatest TV Dads of All Time. Meanwhile, Roseanne Barr revealed that her co-star Shelley Winters faced challenges with line memorization during production. Adding to the behind-the-scenes insights, Glenn Quinn, known for his role on the show, was actually concealing a thick Irish accent when off-camera. There, Arnie. Did he see me? I don't think so, but I wouldn't hang near the free food. In a familiar narrative of fathers looking out for their daughters, we see Dan's attempts to steer Becky towards a new suitor, Dean mirroring Cliff's efforts to do the same for Sandra in another popular sitcom. Meanwhile, Jay Leno, reflecting on a colleague's public misstep, suggests that the root cause might be deeper than what meets the eye, hinting at mental health concerns and expressing a hope for her well-being. Rita Moreno, an actress known for her current role in a family-centered show, expresses deep disappointment over the incident, criticizing the lack of understanding between humor and personal remarks, foreseeing a path of isolation and regret for the individual involved. Well, it's okay. Well, why don't you go call everybody for dinner? You go take all the glory. Throughout his career, Michael Fishman has been a constant presence in Roseanne Barr's television projects. He not only featured in the original series and its subsequent reboot, but also in the animated series Little Rosie and the talk show The Roseanne Show. In contrast, Charlie Sheen, known for his own tumultuous career in sitcoms, publicly expressed his satisfaction over Roseanne's dismissal with a tweet that echoed his well-known catchphrase. Meanwhile, Sarah Gilbert shares her Jewish heritage with her on-screen mother, adding a layer of personal connection to their portrayal of a family on screen. These elements together paint a picture of the intertwined personal and professional lives that often characterize the television industry. We shouldn't even be sitting here watching TV. TV's the whole way my whole generation. In the world of television, it's not uncommon for actors to take on multiple roles, and this was the case with the show in question. Dan Florek, for instance, appeared as both a principal and a doctor across different seasons. Similarly, Michael Desbars and Rob Fuller, among others, portrayed various characters. Lee Garlington is another actor who showcased versatility by playing distinct parts, including a prospective buyer and a bookstore owner. The show's lead, when questioned about the continuation of her series, expressed through social media that her tenure on the show had ended, and along with it, the reruns of past episodes were also discontinued. This decision marked a significant shift in the show's availability to audiences. What are you doing? Shuffling. <laughs> in the world of sitcoms, characters often come with a string of names that add to their quirky nature. Such was the case with Jim Varney's character, who boasted a regal string of names Prince Carlos, Philip Jonathan, Kent Arthur, William Hobson, Pepe Charmin. Meanwhile, controversy struck when Rosen Barr attributed a series of offensive tweets to the influence of Ambien, a medication known for its potent sedative effects and a history of causing peculiar behavior in some individuals. This incident brought to light the drug's notorious side effects, which had been officially recognized for over a decade. In a lighter turn of events, Sarah Chalk reprised her role as Becky, marking her final return in the eighth season. Her arrival was met with a meta-commentary by the show's matriarch, highlighting the rotating cast of the character with a touch of humor. Don't start with her. You start with her constantly. And you constantly take her side. Whenever In the world of television, live audience reactions can elevate a show's energy, which was the case with this popular sitcom. However, its legacy was marred by controversy when the lead actress's offensive tweet led to the show's abrupt cancellation by ABC, despite a previously secured renewal. The tweet deemed racist sparked widespread backlash and the departure of key staff. Attempts at apology failed to quell the uproar, resulting in a clear stance from network executives against the sentiments expressed, prioritizing values over the show's success. The incident also prompted commentary from celebrities, highlighting the unacceptable nature of the remarks and the consequences that followed. Put anything by suing her? No. I feel awful about this. Well, 
Yeah, I knew you would, Fred. In a surprising turn of events, a well-known actress from a popular show made an unexpected leap into politics. Her bid for the presidency in 2012 saw her on the ballot in several states, although she did not win. This political venture was captured in a documentary released three years later. Meanwhile, her personal life was just as eventful. A public outburst during an interview revealed her regret over a controversial statement, yet she stood firm against others defining her intent. Behind the scenes, a love triangle almost took shape with a co-worker and another cast member, but it was the actress who ended up tying the knot with the writer, leaving the third party unaware of the romantic developments. Well, I have now. Yeah, great. Yeah. Good. In a significant nod to continuity, the living room set photo shared by executive producer Whitney Cummings signaled the return of the beloved family's dynamic, now labeled as season 10. This move affirmed the 2018 series as a direct sequel to the original run. A notable moment from an episode reveals the harsh realities faced by the characters, exemplifying the show's approach to tackling serious issues with a blend of humor and gravity. The swift response to a derogatory remark aimed at one of the characters underscores the protective nature of family bonds. The swift pivot by ABC to introduce the Connors following the cancellation of the previous show highlights the network's commitment to the story of the Connor family. The spin-off, set to air in October, promises the return of familiar faces, sans the original matriarch, marking a new chapter for the ensemble. The anticipation builds as fans speculate on the narrative twist that will address her absence, setting the stage for the family's future adventures. The show's legacy continues with the original cast members reprising their roles, ensuring the essence of the family saga remains intact. Well, why don't you let me order you some of that non-alcoholic beer I used to heat up? On the first day of filming for the spinoff, the atmosphere among the cast was a mix of familiar and unfamiliar feelings as described by Lori Metcalf. The transition was a delicate balance of emotions and professional commitment. The show's history includes a notable episode where DJ hesitates to act in a school play due to a kiss with a black girl. The storyline is revisited in the revival, revealing that DJ's wife Gina is the same girl, now depicting an interracial family with their biracial daughter. The show's final season, which aired in 2018, remains unique as it has not been released on home media, setting it apart from previous seasons. What? Just open up the coat. In the world of television, off-screen dynamics can be as dramatic as the storylines depicted on screen. This was evident in the case of Roseanne Barr, whose conduct during the production of her show led to significant tension. Reports from cast and crew indicate that her actions, which ranged from verbal outbursts to threats of departure, nearly resulted in her dismissal. Transitioning from one popular television series to another, several actors found continued success. Lori Metcalf, Johnny Gelke, and Sarah Gilbert, who once played a family and close acquaintances, took on new roles in The Big Bang Theory, showcasing their versatility. Interestingly, the on-screen relationship dynamic shifted significantly between the two shows. Addressing a controversial moment, Roseanne Barr appeared on national television to clarify a situation that had escalated to the cancellation of her show. Her explanation for a racially charged tweet centered around a misunderstanding of the racial identity of Valerie Jarrett. Despite her defense, the incident highlighted the sensitivity and repercussions associated with public figures' social media conduct. Do you use that filthy mouth to kiss my sister? <laughs> In a surprising turn of events, a cast member expressed disbelief over a controversial social media post that led to significant professional fallout. The actor shared that the behavior was uncharacteristic of the colleague he knew, noting that while he did not condone the message, it was unexpected based on his personal interactions. In other news, a character from the show celebrated a birthday on March 15 marking a significant milestone since the character's introduction. Meanwhile, key actors demonstrated solidarity in the face of declining viewership by accepting reduced salaries to continue the story in a spin-off series, showcasing their commitment to the narrative and its continuation. Okay, bye. In the landscape of American television, a show managed to capture the attention of viewers consistently for five of its nine seasons, ranking among the top three in viewership. 
Yet, it never received a nomination for the Emmy Award for Best Comedy Series. In a portrayal outside of the show, Danny Dillon took on the role of the lead actress in a 1994 biographical film. The lead actress's life off screen also garnered attention when a fellow comedian and friend shared in an interview about a personal crisis she faced. He revealed that another comedian reached out to offer support during this challenging time. This act of solidarity came under scrutiny, sparking significant controversy and backlash, particularly from the Me Too movement, leading to the cancellation of the comedian's scheduled television appearance and subsequent public apology. <laughs> All right, I'm going in. Hey, what have I got to lose? 